we've got uh, Tracy from the makeover. We stole you for a bit to ask you some questions that we've gotten uh, from all across the country. Let's start with Jean-Vierre from Montreal. She says, I've got short eyelashes, so do I. What's my best bet when it comes to choosing the right mascara? We both suffer from this. We have very, very Dang. short lashes. The thing is, thing called 3D Fiber Lash, what it does, it's a little bit, it probably adds another two minutes to your process of putting mascara, but it's well worth it. So what mm. you do is you apply your regular mascara, and then there's one called Unique, and it's spelled Y-O-U-N-I-Q-U-E. Mm. This one, you just put this gel on, you put it on your mask, you put on your, like you would any other mascara, put it on your lashes, and it's really just to get it wet, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this one here. This one has little hairs on it, okay? Little fiber hairs. Uh -huh. When you put these on your lashes, it actually extends your lashes. I'm not kidding. Okay. It really, really does. It extends it about, I'd say, uh, two, two times, three times the lash, this, the, what your normal lashes are. That's huge. It really does. So okay. it adds little hairs and it works. So that's what I would say if you have mm -hmm. short lashes, do the 3D fiber lashes. A lot of different companies have them. Yeah. This one's just the one that, works that I for know. You. Okay, let's do Jess from Winnipeg now. She says, I'm getting married next month, and I was wondering, what are my best makeup options for the big day? My skin tends to be oily, so I'm worried about the makeup lasting. Another problem that I suffer yeah. from. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I would say go with a primer. Uh, Smashbox is like the leading in primers in the, in the industry. They're my favorites. Uh, Smashbox has the regular photo finish one. That one's great, as well as they just came up with this one, the photo finish foundation, oil-free. It minimizes your pores as well. You need to put down primer down if you have oily skin as well. It's throughout the day when you're putting, when you're get, oh, you see you're getting shiny. Don't mm -hmm. put your regular powder on top because it just gets, it becomes a thick layer of, um, of makeup. What you want to do is you want to go with something like a translucent powder, something that doesn't have any color to it. It's just meant to take away shine. It's a lot lighter on your skin. You don't want to put makeup on makeup on makeup because it suffocates your skin and then you get more oily. So that's the point of that. That's the point okay. of that.